Dave Drake Middle School Black History Knowledge Bowl, Rules of the Game. Each team will consist of five representatives to compete for their teams. There will be a total of five rounds to this competition. Each round will consist of five questions. Once five questions have been answered, the teams will rotate. The team that answers, answers the toss-up question correctly will receive 10 points and will have an opportunity to answer a bonus question that will be worth 10 points each. If a bonus question has more than one question, the participant will receive bonus points for each correct answer. After each round, team <coughs> members will then rotate. In the final round, the students will play sudden death for 20 points per correct answer. Only toss-up questions will be asked during the sudden death round. Students cannot confer at any point during the game. Are there any questions? Let the game begin. Toss-up question number one. This civil rights leader served as a close advisor to President Vernon Jordan. Jordan is correct and I'll continue reading. President Bill Clinton. In 1970, he became Executive Director of the United <coughs> Negro College Fund and later President of the National Urban League. Bonus question goes to the Cheetahs. Medgar Evers was a civil rights leader who helped college students, students, excuse me, Jane Meredith, enroll as the first African American at what Southern University in 1962? Mississippi. University of Mississippi is correct and for 10 additional points, what famous African-American magazine called him the bravest man in America that same year? Ebony. E -E Ebony Magazine. Very good. Toss-up question number two. This African-American stated... Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey is correct, and I'll continue to read. A people without knowledge of their past history, origin, or culture is like a tree without roots. Bonus question for the Lions. The court decision on this African American's case was one of the main reasons that Abraham Lincoln ran for president and why the South left the Union. For 10 points each, who was the plaintiff in this historical case? And two, in which state did this case begin? Dred Scott in Missouri. You're correct for both, Dred Scott and Missouri. Toss-up question number three. This research chemist is not correct. Percy L. Julian is correct. I'll continue to read. Chemist created a drug to treat glaucoma and eye disease. He also developed an inexpensive method of manufacturing drugs to treat arthritis and certain muscle diseases. For bonus question for the Bobcats. She started a home in New York City where she cared for homeless children and children born infected with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. For 10 points each, who is she and what was the name of her famous home? Okay, you get the first one right. It was Clara McBride Hale and it was known as the Hale House. Toss-up question number four. He was one of the most influential writers of the 20th. Ralph Ellison. Ralph Ellison is correct. I'll continue to read. Of the 20th century, he explored the trials and the tribulations of African American life. Most famous for his book *Invisible Man*. Bonus question for the Jaguars. For 10 points each, he was a Rhodes Scholar that significantly dismissed the belief of many white Americans. American scholars, excuse me, who believe that African Americans were intellectually inferior. Who is he and what university did this individual attend? Alan Leroy Locke and Harvard University. Correct, Alan Locke and Harvard University. Toss up question number five. In 2002, she. Maya Angel. Incorrect. She launched a line of Hallmark greeting cards. Madam C.J. Walker? Incorrect. And, <laughs> incorrect. Cards and accessories. Before then, in 1993, Maya Angelou read what poem at President Clinton's first inauguration?
Are y'all afraid to buzz? Uh, buzz. No. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's only two that can choose. Oh, I'm okay, sorry. Time's up. So no bonus question for that round, and then we rotate. <laughs> Toss-up question number six. <clears throat> Tony Dungy played the Pittsburgh Steel. Excuse me. Tony Dungy played on the Pits Pittsburgh. <laughs> Tony Dungy played on the Pittsburgh Steelers in 1978 Super Bowl championship team. He led the Indiana Colts to which year's Super Bowl championship against the Chicago Bears, becoming the first African American coach to win the Super Bowl. Is incorrect. 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 Toss up question number seven. This actor starred in Sounder. Cicely Tyson is correct, and I'll continue the question. For which she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress. She also starred in the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman, for which she won two Emmy Awards and the Marva Collins story. Bonus question for the Bobcats. Ozzie Davis is an actor, writer, producer, director, and civil rights leader who was, excuse me, who has acted in several notable films. For 10 points each, name three of those films in which he starred. Malcolm X, A Raisin in the Sun, and Dr. Doolittle. Correct. Toss up question number eight. A native of Birmingham, Alabama. Condoleezza Rice. Condoleezza Rice is correct. I'll continue to read. Birmingham, Alabama. This person is the first African American female Secretary of State. Bonus question for the Lions. Granville T. Woods is famous for three major inventions. For ten points each, name those three inventions. The railway, the railway telegram system. One of the that is correct. That is one of them. That's correct. The other two would be the steam boiler furnace and the electric railway system. Toss up question number nine. This educator was advisor to four. Mary McLeod Bethune. Mary McLeod Bethune is correct, and I'll continue to read. Advisor to four presidents on issues of education and racial equality. She was a living legend. She founded the National Council of Negro Women and Bethune Cookman College. She was also the first African American to head the federal agency. She gave speeches around the country saying, Look at me. Bonus question for Bobcats. This medical doctor was the first African American female astronaut. For 10 points each, name the Stanford graduate and name the space shuttle she went into orbit aboard. Dr. May Jemison and the Endeavor. Correct. May Jemison and the Endeavor. Toss up question 10. She was so dissatisfied with the. Marva Collins. Marva Collins is correct. Dissatisfied with the education that students were receiving in the Chicago Public Schools and decided to open her own school named this educator and thank you for doing that. Bonus question for Bobcats. He was the founder, publisher, chairman, and CEO of the Johnson Promotion <coughs> Company Incorporated in Chicago, Illinois, the largest African American owned publishing company in the world. For 10 points each, Name this prominent publisher and name two of his most famous magazines. John H. Johnson and Ebony and Jet. Correct. John H. Johnson, Ebony and Jet magazines. Correct. Rotate. Possible question number 11. On August 30th, 1983, Guillaume 
as Lothar. This African-American aerospace engineer and United States astronaut became the first African-American to travel into space. Bonus question for the cheetahs. This Auburn native became the fourth president of the Alabama Agriculture and Mechanics College, now known as Alabama A&M University. Joseph Fanning Drake is correct. As a question 12, Langston Hughes was an Af was excuse me American poet and short story writer. He rose to prominence in American literature in 1926 with the publication of his first book of poetry. What is the title? The Weary Blues. I'm sorry, it was Cheetahs. The Weary Blues. The Weary Blues. Great <laughs> bonus question for Cheetahs. This African American born. Sarah Breedlove was America's first self-made female millionaire. For 10 points each, what name is she best known by and how did she earn her millionaire status? Madam C.J. Walker and Ellen Beauty Products. Madam C.J. Walker, Beauty and Hair Care Products, yes. Toss-up question 13. This African-American track and field star... Um, Jackie... I didn't hear you. Jackie Joyner Kersey. Okay, Jackie Joyner Kersey is correct. Um, broke the heptathlon world record twice and won both the multi-event and long jump gold medals at the 1988 Seoul Olympics. Bonus question for the Cougars. He was the first African American to receive the NAACP's Spine Spinger, excuse me, medal for ten points each. Name this biologist and two. Name three other individuals who received the NAACP's Spingard Medal. Ernest Just and um, George Washington Carter. Ernest Just is one, and can you name the other three? Okay. And that was one of the three. So you did get the first one correct. The other two were Lena Horn and Cullen Powell. Toss up question number 14. This surgeon was a pioneer in the research of antibodies. Louis T. Wright. Louis T. Wright is correct. Proteins used to, to tight off disease, fight off disease, excuse me. He was the first black physician to be appointed to the staff of Harlem Hospital. Bonus question for the Bobcats. He was the first African American head coach in the NFL. For 10 points each, name this man and for 10 additional points um, as an All American running back in 1915, he led what college to the Rose Bowl? Prince Pollard and I'm not sure it's Prince Pollard and It is Fritz Pollard. Pollard and the university or team was Brown University. In 1972, Barbara Jordan became the first African American woman from a southern state to serve in the United States Congress. Which state? Texas. Texas is correct. Bonus question for the Lions. This African American author is mostly recognized for her Pulitzer Prize winning novel, The Color Purple, which was developed into a Steven Spielberg film film and received 11 Academy Award nominations. For 10 points each, name the author and name the famous actresses who were nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress. Alice Walker and Oprah So Alice Walker is the um, author. And the other two would have been Whoopi Goldberg and Oprah Winfrey. Toss up question is rotate time. In 1976, this leader became the executive director of the NAACP. Under his leadership, Dr. Benjamin Hooks. Dr. Benjamin Hooks is correct. <coughs> Conversation for Jaguars. 
This person was the first African American to win an Academy Award in 1939. For 10 points each, what was this person's name and what is the title of the movie? Jamie Foxx and the movie's name is Ray. Incorrect. It was Hattie McDaniel and Gone with the Wind. Toss up question number 17. This person won the Academy Award for Best Actor in two. Lions. Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx is correct. <laughs> <laughs> he is the only African American actor to be nominated twice in one year for the Academy Award. Bonus question for the Lions. For 10 points, what was the title of the movie for which he received the Best Actor Award? Jamie Foxx still? Like, um, that's not my answer. Uh, is it still his movie? Yes, it's on that. I mean... Okay. Um. Five seconds. Time's up. The answer is Ray. Toss-up question number 18. This Yale Law School graduate star um, started the Children's Defense Fund. Marianne Wright Marian Elderman. Okay, Marianne Wright Elderman is correct. She also was the first African American woman admitted to the <coughs> Mississippi Bar. Bonus question for the Cougars. For 10 points each, Whitney M. Young was the executive director of number one. What organization from 1961 until her death? And two, what national event in 1963 is he known, excuse me, for helping to organize? You, did you know the answer to the first one? Okay. So you did get the second one correct. It is March on Washington. The answer for the first one is National Urban League. Toss-up question number 19. This person was the first African-American governor in my... Darkest Walker. Douglas Wilder is correct in modern times. Bonus question for Cheetahs. This explorer discovered the North Pole with Robert Perry. Matthew Henson is correct. Toss-up question 20. This African-American inventor is a... Incorrect. Was a pioneer in the research of... Cougars. Incorrect. Proteins used to fight off... Dr. Washington. George Washington Carver. Incorrect. He was the first black physician to be appointed to the staff of a New York municipal hospital. Robert Below. It is time to rotate. We are now in <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are now in the sudden death round. There will be no bonus questions asked, and the correct answers are now worth 20 points each. Question 21. Black History Month. Dr. Carter G. Woodson is correct, and I'll continue to read. Starting as Negro History Week began as an effort by this African American, 1875 to 1950, to recognize the valuable contributions African Americans made in the United States and throughout the world. But no bonus question. Excuse me. Also, question 22. Ron Brown became lions. The Democratic Chairman. I'll continue to read. Became the first African American Chairman of the Democratic Committee. He helped Bill Clinton win Jaguars. Oh, um, win the election? Win the 1992 presidential election. In 1993, he became the first African American Secretary of Commerce. 
U.S. Secretary of Commerce with that position. Question 23. This trumpet player, Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong is correct, I'll continue. He became known for his beautiful tones and brilliant technique, and also for his hoarse, throaty singing voice. He gave several performances overseas, including one for England's King George V. Toss up question 24. Jennifer Hudson. <coughs> Cheetahs. Jennifer Hudson <laughs> <laughs> was. Two seconds. Time's up. Jennifer Hudson was an uh, American idol. She went on. Um, Time's up. I go with the Oh. And went on to star in what hit movie for Dreamgirls? Dream Girls is correct. <laughs> <coughs> Question twenty five. This African American baseball player before Leroy Satchel Page. Leroy Satchel Page is correct. Twenty six. In nineteen ninety three. Jocelyn. Joyce, excuse me, Joycelyn Elders is correct. I'll continue to read. 1993, this African American became the first woman and first African American U.S. Surgeon General. Question 27. During the 1960s, Nikki Giovanni. Oh, um, she. <laughs> Uh, black poetry is correct. I'll continue to read. Was best known as the Princess of what? In 1941, this oh, um, Adam Clayton Powell. Adam Clayton Powell is oh correct. I will continue to read. This African American became New York's first black councilman. In 1944, he was elected to Congress. He was the first African American from New York to be elected to Congress. Question 29. Julian Bond worked with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and helped start the N. Um, yeah, he was a close advisor President Bill No, he, he started the SNCC. And helped start the SNCC and the Southern Poverty Law Center. What does SNCC stand for? Me? Mm -hmm. Oh, Student National Colored, colored Committee? Incorrect. Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Correct. Toss up question 30. Dominique Dawes became the first African. Oh, win a bronze medal in the Incorrect. To win in an individual Olympic medal in gymnastics when she won a bronze medal at the Olympics in what year? Seal. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dominique Dawes became the, became the first African American to win an individual Olympic medal in gymnastics when she won a bronze medal at the Olympics in what year? I'll just take a guess. 1967. Correct. Um, That's it. That's it. Oh, gosh. And that completes.